Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Leo and pull your cards. Now I'm only going to pull three cards this week, I'll clarify where I need to um, and then we'll pull a final oracle card at the end. Just this week has been quite chaotic, <laughs> obviously being Christmas and New Year. So let's see what we get for you, Leo. What do we have for Leo, please? Okay, so your challenge is the tower, but it is your challenge position. The high priestess is advice from spirit, very beautiful energy. And your outcome, oh wow, we have judgment. You know, bottom of the deck, Leo, is the Six of Wands. I'm going to put that down because I did look at it. Okay. So, Leo, the Tower represents some kind of, something that has rocked your foundations to the core. You know, the Tower can represent different areas of our life or can be across our life. Could be a love, romance, relationships, friendships, family. Um, can be work, business, career, money. I mean, health even. Call it what you will. The Tower represents... A structure that when it's tested by that lightning with it from the universe it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time it wasn't built on solid foundations this is a square tower and this is your round crown and something doesn't fit anymore or the universe is saying something doesn't fit interestingly enough there are no doors within this tower so the only route of escape is through the window to sudden death so it's almost kind of like you know i see your fire here being liberated in this tower. It's an act of love from the universe, the tower energy, to realign you to where you need to be. And even though it's not always an easy energy, I mean, sometimes I'm associating this with the pandemic as well. For some of you, you might have been affected by the pandemic. Um, it is a card of alignment, um, adjustment. Can sometimes be about revelation, truth, rude awakenings. Um, but nevertheless, the tower is sometimes necessary in our lives. We look back at the towers in months, years to come, and everything makes sense in terms of why things happened the way they did. You know, and it's generally a positive reason for that, for that point in time. It's not always easy to go through. So this is the tower energy that is, that's here for you in your challenge position. The high priestess is saying, well, yeah, you know, the tower might not always be easy, but the high priestess is there, your intuition, aligning you to your soul path. You have three major arcana here, Leo. So the arcana, the major arcana are powerful, big energies. So for some of you, maybe you've gone through a big change in your life. And the high priestess is saying, yeah, but you're being watched over by God, the divine, the universe, who is speaking to you through your intuition, through your dreams, through synchronicities, aligning you to your soul path where you need to be. It's a very spiritual energy. Um, it's a card of sacred knowledge as well. So finding the clarity, the instinct, the inner knowing to align to where you need to be now. And when the high priestess appears, Germany, we have inklings in terms of what our instincts are telling us now in terms of which way we need to go. So very beautiful energy. Yeah, I mean, judgment in one sense, Leo, is, is an energy of saying something's nearly over. Whatever this period of the tower has been, it's nearly over. This is an energy of it's time for you to rise, you know, um, step into your light. But it's also maybe a time for you to make a judgment, a decision, because this is the trumpet, the call to action, asking you to make some kind of decision choice. You can choose whether to stay on your current path, you know. So, for example, in relationships, this can be about... Uh, you know, staying with the relationship that you've got, um, staying with the job that you've got, you know, it can be that kind of energy. Um, or it can be choosing a different path, making some critical decision about how you move forward on a new path. Um, 
So it can definitely feel like some kind of crossroads energy, but it is the call to action. The fact that something unexpected also may happen or may happen fast that requires you to make some kind of decision or choice very quickly or to deal with the situation very, very quickly indeed. Um, but it's an empowering energy, the judgment. You are stepping into your light, you know. Um, it's a great karmic energy as well. The universe guiding you, watching over you. It's a great awakening energy, spiritual awakenings. Um, a, greater, a greater appreciation of, you know, who we are, what we're all about. It's the rebirth energy. Um, so it definitely feels for some of you that there may well be some kind of something that you might have to deal with quite quickly in this situation. But it definitely says that this is the making of you. This will be you stepping into your light, maybe making some critical decision or choice. Now, I will also say sometimes, Leo, this can be about absolution and forgiveness as well. So whatever this tower was, there may well be some potential forgiveness that's here too for some of you. Um, the Six of Wands, though, is saying this is Leo energy. This is you back in your power. The Six of Wands is a sign of a significant achievement, significant success. It's the victory card, but it's the victory of somebody tapping into who they are, their natural element of fire, which is you. You are ruled by fire. And taking action, being empowered, dealing with a challenge and then putting it behind you so coming through the other side of a situation and feeling pretty good about it so whatever this situation is leo there's a message that you will be victorious there will be a sense of achievement you will overcome whatever obstacle this tower pose poses to you and this will only make you stronger you know and it will restore equilibrium in your life as well I love the energy of that six of wands for you because it's your card. You know, it's a Leo card. So I'm going to pull a final message for you. Final message for Leo, please, for the week. Final message for Leo for the week. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very apt. Uh, so much spiritual energy here, Leo. We have the squirrel spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker isn't that beautiful you are your own caretaker you will deal with whatever situation this this poses and come out whistles and bells you know um so have faith in that the universe is telling you that whatever this challenge is you know you'll deal with it overcome it move on I love the energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Leo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.